morning everybody so today we're just gonna go through how I do my favorite white chocolate mocha keto bulletproof coffee which is absolutely amazing and nobody should have to suffer through all the horrible ones on Pinterest because I tried and I gagged down like a quarter of it and y'all have to excuse my deeper voice because it is literally the morning and you're literally waking up with me and we're gonna do it that's why I got my little baby hairs going on all that fabulousness Eva say good morning <laughs> and there's a little bully and we're gonna make us some coffee all right so we got the curry going on I just use just regular old any coffee, whatever works for you that you like. And then I'm going to do, I usually do the 10 ounces because I got three kids. I need a lot of coffee. All right, and then we'll let that do its thing. Now to go through the rest of it, I use more than just butter in there. So I use uh, coconut oil. And then I put a little bit of the Hershey's uh, cocoa powder, just the um, unsweetened one. It's got three carbs for one tablespoon, and I only use one tablespoon, but I definitely think that it helps give a little bit of, just a little bit of something in you. Um, not only just a little bit of carbs to help get us going in the morning, and I think that's what helps it make it so that I can um, go all the way until lunchtime without needing any anything else other than this and then carry gold butter you definitely want to make sure to get um, the pure Irish butter the carry gold butter has always been the one that's been recommended and you can just get it at your local Walmart Safeway anything but don't just go doing regular butter you want the one from grass-fed cows that's part of the whole point of keto so um, definitely just get the Kerrygold uh, pure Irish butter. You can go salted or unsalted, doesn't matter, whichever works for you. Um, this is one of the biggest keys to it. In Walmart, you can get the sugar free vanilla or sugar free s'mores. Um, but if you go onto Amazon or onto um, Tarani's website itself, you have so many choices of the flavors of sugar-free syrups like there are a ton you're not just stuck to those two so I get white chocolate syrup I also love the sugar-free salted caramel I like to make me a little sugar-free salted caramel mocha um, but these make it so much better like don't suffer if you don't need to and then heavy whipping cream which helps gives helps to give us more fats um, and then you know because I'm always extra I want to feel like my mocha's fancy in the morning so coffee's all done, brewing. Here's the butter, it's one tablespoon. Of course it has to be the end, but paper's difficult to get out. So I like to put that first in, let it melt a little bit while you're getting everything else in there. And then next thing, just so that we can, again, let it melt some, is the coconut oil. You can really do any coconut oil, but I do like the 100% um, organic virgin and the cold pressed unrefined because it's a little bit smoother. Um, but really, honestly, any coconut oil is going to work. So we do one tablespoon of that. Now, again, the whole point of a bulletproof keto coffee is one to get you your extra oils and um, and also fats like a lot of people that are on keto the number one thing that I hear is that I have trouble getting the amount of fats that I need well if you're using doing your uh, coffee the way that you should you shouldn't have any problems with it so one tablespoon of coconut oil in there And dude, it does not look fabulous, so don't get, don't, you know, get all freaked out or anything. You're going, mm-hmm. It doesn't look spectacular there. And then next thing we're going to do 
is the sugar-free syrup. So again, you can mess with it and do any concoction that you want. Um, but the key is like, don't feel like you can't have flavor in your stuff. Like just cause you're on keto or just cause you're watching your, like what you eat and stuff, that doesn't mean that you can't have any flavor in there. Um, your sugar-free syrup is good to go. So I do three, um, three tablespoons of this because I like it a bit sweeter. If you like the more coffee flavor, then go two tablespoons and try it out and mess with what works for you. All right. Then we're gonna do three tablespoons of the heavy whipping cream. tablespoon of the Hershey's uh, powder. Make it a little extra chocolatey and give me a little bit of carbs. So I'm going to grab my KitchenAid immersion blender. You can also put it in any standard blender, but Honestly, like I used to do that, and I used to have to wash it every day. And mom on the go, I don't have time to be washing my blender every day. So I got this, the KitchenAid Immersion Blender, and you can get it like any brand. I just love the mint green. Um, and it makes your life so much easier. So just put it down in. thing just a little bit of whipped cream you can leave it off if you want to doesn't matter I just like it because it makes me feel special and then that is it we got our coffee all right so um, any questions drop them down below I'll be happy to answer and thanks for living through my you know, morning attire. Beebsy, say bye. Bye. Bye, Bolly. All right, we're going to go get ready for the day. Cheers.